Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star series, live here on Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. On the Black Star series, we talk about the Black Stars and also their upcoming games in the World Cup 2026 qualifiers. That will be played next month in June against Mali and also Central African Republic. Now, when we began with the Black Star series, we talked about goalkeepers, centre-backs and full-backs who were likely to make the squad for Otto Addo for this qualifiers. In today's video, we are going to focus on the midfielders I believe are going to make Otto Addo's final 25-mile squad to face Mali and also Central African Republic. So guys, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and also turn on notification. Next is shout out. If your name is on the shout out list, and to say a very big thank you to you. I appreciate what you do for this channel and I'm grateful. But then if your name is not here, don't worry, don't be offended. Comment under this video and I'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout out list we do live here on Sports Corner G. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it. Now, since we are talking about midfielders, I want to talk about an advantage the Black Stars have way into the game against Mali. If Bissouma is injured, the Mali key player is their midfielder and also plays for Tottenham. He's injured. So that is a key advantage for the Black Stars. But then we have seen several times this Mali national team, they play without Yves Bissouma and still get the job done. So we shouldn't be too overconfident that he's injured. I just believe that it's a good advantage for the Black Stars. Now let's jump into it and talk about our midfielders. Now with the Black Stars, we have tried different combinations of midfielders. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But then I just hope that Otoado gets it finally. That is what I pray for. So guys, let's jump into it. The first midfielder I'm going to talk about will be Madida Shimiru. With Madida Shimiru, he can make the squad. So I'm putting an asterisk close to his name. Now the reason is because he picked up a new injury quite recently. New injury, and that is a calf injury. So I don't think he will recover in time to join the Black Stars to play against Mali and also Central African Republic. I mean... During the half con, he was our key player. He got injured during the game. Because of that, we allowed him to recover very well. So he missed out on the call-up during the international break. Now that he was being integrated into the underlet team performing well, he picks up another injury again, which is quite sad in my own opinion. Now, it would be a miracle if he recovers in time to join the Black Star. So I'm not ruling that out. So I'm going to put an asterisk to his name. The next player we are going to talk about will be Mohamed Kudus, my star boy, your star boy, everybody's star boy. With Mohamed Kudus in the Black Stars, we all know what he can do. At the AFCON, when Mohamed Kudus didn't play the first game, we saw the difference. But the way Mohamed Kudus came in and played the last two games in the group stages, we also saw the difference. Sometimes I ask myself, so if Mohamed Kudus is not in the Black Star team, we can't score goals. Mohamed Kudus brings that different, you know, dynamics to the Black Stars. And he's already doing well with his club side at you no know, West Ham. He's very versatile, plays different positions. But in the Black Stars, he plays only one position. That is the number 10 position. And for me, there are positives and also negatives. Let me tell you this. One positive thing I've said about Mohamed Kudus is that he has matured a lot during this short period. Because at first, he used to hold on to ball a lot when playing in that number 10 role. But now, he's matured, he's developed that. He knows when to, you know, pass. And also knows when to dribble one, two, three before passing. And that is what I like about his game now. Now, the thing I don't like about Mohamed Kudus playing in the national team is that of late, Mohamed Kudus, if you give him a call up to the national team, he's sick. He's this. The excuses are becoming too much. We beg you. The way we respect you, we beg the excuses. We don't want to hear it. Hey, now we have opened up Mohamed Kudus is sick. He's not playing that. Then, then, then we beg you. We beg you. We beg Kudus. We beg. So, guys, Mohamed Kudus definitely will be in the squad for me to play against Mali and also Central African Republic. And I know the Malians don't, don't be afraid because Kudus is a star boy. The third player would be Thomas Pate. Now, Thomas Pate did not play with the Black Stars during the AFCON because of injury. So he didn't end a call up in the last international bid because he was now recovering. Now that he has recovered, see, Arsenal fans are so happy because what Thomas Pate is doing for them getting to the close of the season, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's been revealing that if Thomas Pate was there from the beginning, the Arsenal wouldn't have had all the problems they're having. No. And that same thing applies to the Black Stars. And there's one thing I don't like about Thomas Pate, I'm going to say it. Because me, the kind of a can, 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 
I'm going to say it. Thomas Partey, you can't rely on him. You can't rely on Thomas Partey. Why? He always gets injured. The injury is becoming too much. Thomas Partey, you can't rely on him. You can't build the black stars around Thomas Partey because when you need him the most, he's injured. So even this one, Kano, I mean, and then he said, because he will be coming with the official from Arsenal to make sure that he doesn't even get any injury again. So you now have to man manage him. And Thomas Partey playing for Black Stars. I saw Osuru, Osuru in mind. And that is the thing. But then I will pick on any day. Eh? I'll pick Thomas Partey and fit Thomas Partey on any day. That, that is it. Because Thomas Partey will bring you something that other midfielders will not bring. That is the passing. Normally we see our own midfielders here. Instead of them passing forward, they'll be passing side by side. And all they'll give back pass. We can play more back passes than playing forward passes. That is why we need Thomas Pate in the Black Stars. That is the truth. Thomas Pate will give forward thinking passes. But the other midfielders, hey, Sankofa Fuono. They will give back passes and side passes. So you'll be annoying. So guys, that is the reason why we need Thomas Pate in the squad. Now, the next midfielder will be Salis Abdul Samet. Now, with Salis Abdul Samet, hmm. he's a DM. We all love him. He's doing so well. But to me, I believe his form and also his performance for the Black Stars have really dipped. Because when he joined the Black Stars first time, when we went to the World Cup, we all had high expectations. And he now raised the standard. He raised the bar for us when we went to the World Cup. He performed so well. So then, like, we, we, we had faith in him. We had faith in him, only for him to play other games after the World Cup. And it's like his performances are not, you know, good enough. Sometimes he gets gets bent for the likes of Edmond Nadu and Baba, uh, Baba Idrisu to be playing now, which is not, which is not right. No, so Salis Abdul Samed, I went to put him in the squad because I believe that the talent is there. What he has shown us before, he can do it again on a very good day. So definitely he's a key player and I'm going to put him there, in there. The next midfielder we are going to talk about will be forcing Amankwa. We forcing Amankwa and he earned his debut call up with the Black Stars just quite recently during the international break when we played against Nigeria and also Uganda. Otto Ado himself said this boy, he's one for the future. Otto Ado saw the boy play down number eight rule and said, wow, this boy is good. Very young boy. Very, very young boy. And I believe that if Otto Ado is able to say that about a player, definitely that player has impressed the coach and could end a call up next time. So definitely, I won't be surprised if I see Fosina Malpass name in the Blast Star spot just to replace Majed Ashwari. Definitely, I won't be surprised because I believe we need creative players in the Blast Star squad, which we really don't have many. So I believe that Fosina Malpass comes with that you know, ability and definitely, I won't be surprised. I will really be happy to see him in the Blast Star squad. The next midfielder we are going to talk about will be Baba Idrisu. <laughs> with Baba Idrisu, yeah, see, let, let me be very honest with Baba Idrisu. I think it's high time, you know, he works on his performance. That is the truth. He should work on his performance. Because anytime I see Baba Idrisu in the Black Star squad, and I just hope that Baba Idrisu would impress me, I don't get impressed. That is the truth. Sometimes I see the pass doesn't go. Or it's me passing, he can't pass. Sometimes he is giving too much back passes. And I don't really like it like that because looking at the pool of players we have, we need to be forward thinking, we need to attack more. What I mean, I'm sorry about my issue. I'm just being honest here. Experience and everything is there, but then it's evident at his club side that Charlie is dipping in for. Even now, it's MLS club that wants it. So I bet that one day he should he should you know sit and then work on his form so that others can get the opportunity to play. That is my humble um, uh, opinion. And then that is my honesty about Baba Idrisu. That is it. Elisha Ousu. I think Elisha Ousu, if there is an opportunity to, you know, bring in a midfielder, why not? Elisha Ousu is a very good player. At first, I, I, I had my own, you know, I, I criticized him a bit. But then after seeing him do well with his you know, club side, performing so well, being a key player for Asia also, helping them to get promoted to the French League, uh, it has given me a different light on who Elisha Ousu is. And if you take a look at his statistics on so far score, you could see he's a midfielder who knows how to handle the ball and also pass. So he gives you what Thomas Pate could give, but only that Thomas Pate knows how to do it better. That is my, based on what I've seen. So with, uh, you know, Elisha Ousu, I'll, 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 I'll hope to see him. He could be on the standby list. He could still make the squad 
if there is an opportunity to bring in an extra midfielder. The next midfielder we are going to talk about will be Edmond Adu. So, Edmond Adu, I'm going to make it very brief. I think this boy is a lucky boy. He is a lucky boy because he's not doing well as a midfielder, only for Odoado to come and convert him to a center back. I mean, who does that? And then, you know what? As a center back, he played it very well. I guess Nigeria and Uganda. He played that center back ball like he means it. He played it well. So, I am one person who I will not be surprised if I see Edmond Hadou in the Blaster squad because now Otto Hadou will now be thinking that, ah, what's mean bomb midfield now? I bet my boy are center back. So, I can use him as a backup to these two positions. So, he becomes an important player for Otto Hadou. So, I mean, I won't be surprised if I see him in the squad at all. Right now, if I see him in the squad, me and Kasabi, I won't be surprised at all. The next midfield will be Abu Francis. Now, Abu Francis will be on standby list in my own opinion because I believe that if you take a look at the blaster players who are now fit and able to play, Abu Francis might miss out. He's young, he plays for Circle Brugger, just extended his contract quite recently. He came into the blasters during the international break. He wasn't bad at all. But I just believe that looking at the players who are fit now to play the Black Stars, he might miss out on making the squad. But then if there's an opportunity, definitely he's going to be on the standby list. So if there's an opportunity, why not? Why not? I mean, let's try and promote the young ones. Lastly, Michael Bade. Michael Bade. Well, I've already talked about him in the previous video. Solid guy. Attacking midfielder. I believe that Mohamed Kudus, if you are going to substitute him, but there is Mohamed Kudus is sick. Mohamed Kudus is that. I mean, Michael Bade is there. Attacking midfielder, puppets. We need to try and incorporate this guy into the Black Stars. He's doing so well. Now, about six teams, they want the guy. So I don't know what, what else this guy must do. Already, oh, Swedish league now starts you. He has already started scoring goals. So, I mean, Michael Bade will definitely be in my squad. So, guys, these are the midfielders. So, guys, these are the midfielders I believe Koto Ado should pick. Honestly, I mean, you have already heard what I said. And this is my own opinion. Like, this is, I'm a realist. I like reality. So, I'm not going to sugar have Koto hype any player. This is reality based on what I've seen and what I believe these players can do. I'm going to go through the list once more. Madid Ashimeru asked Terry's because he's injured, but then it will take a miracle for this player to recover in time and make the squad. But then I'm putting an asterisk to his name. Mohamed Kudush definitely going to make the squad. Thomas Pate, his fit, his playing ball, we are all excited. Definitely going to make the squad. Salis Abdul Samed, I think it's now time he shows Ghanaians that Charlie still have faith in me. I can still get the job done. So definitely he's going to be in that list. Forcing Amankwa. I see him replacing, you know, Majid Ashimiru if Majid Ashimiru cannot make it. So definitely, I'll be excited to see, you know, a different dynamics to our midfield. So first in Amalpa, he will be in that list for me. Baba Idrisu, standby list. Baba Idrisu, standby list. Elisha Ousu, standby list. Standby. Edmond Nado. Miracle boy. Miracle boy. Anything can happen. Edmond Nado, I call him the miracle boy. Anything can happen. He's so lucky. I'll be surprised if I see him. So I'll give him a 50 50 chance of making it on also not making it to you know the final 25 mile squad. Abu Francis, standby list. Michael Biedu, standby list. I mean, he wasn't called during the international break. I don't know if he'll be called when they know the serious match is being played. So, guys, this and you know the midfielders, I believe Otto Ado would be looking at to pick his you know concrete midfield to make the 25 mile squad to face Mali and also Central African Republic. Thanks for joining me. My name is Eden. Guys, let me know what you think. If you join the convo, let's talk. Let's have a convo about our midfielders. What do you make of it? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for joining me. My name is Eden. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we go by.